Moving on to the second layer. The second layer of solving Rubik's Cube is where we go to the third layer, which is this layer. Uh, actually, it's this, but we go to the bottom layer to see um, these kind of pieces. The center, uh, middle ones, the edges, I think. Yeah, so in the edges, they should not be the opposite color, which means like, for example, blue and yellow. The opposite of white in a Rubik's cube is yellow, obviously. So we cannot take this. We look for another one. We find it, which is green and orange. We turn this green to the center green. And because orange is this side, what we do is we turn it to the opposite side, bring this down, turn this back and bring it up. Now we we'll misplace the white, we gotta turn this this side, bring this down, place the white again, and turn it up. Now we look for another one. We find a blue and orange. We align this piece to the center blue and since this orange is on I mean the orange is on this side but turns to the opposite side opposite side which is red so we turn it bring the opposite side down turn it back bring it up now we're gonna splice the white so we bring it back in so turn it to the la right uh, bring it down turn it back and bring it up now we look for another piece we got one which is blue and red so we align it to blue again and because uh, the opposite of red is orange we turn it to orange bring it down bring it back Bring it up now. We will place the white, turn it, bring it down, bring it right, and turn it up. Now, the we look for another one until we see this layer is solved. We keep on looking, so we get another one which is green and red. So, because red is this side, we turn it to the opposite side, which is like this. We bring this down, bring this back, turn this up. Turn this to this side, bring this down, place the white piece again and bring it up. Now you see we've completed the second layer.